Hey guys, so I'm back with another video. This is a story time video. And I don't typically do story time videos, but I probably should because I have a lot of stories to tell. A lot of crazy ass stories to tell. So, Alright, so instead of dragging this intro alone, we just about to get right into this joint because it's going to be hella long. I don't know how I'm about to edit this joint down. Let me give you guys a little background information before, you know, I start the story. So, my phone. I had a Galaxy S3 at the time. And my phone would literally like, okay, it would charge up to like 100%. But then I take it off the charger, say for like five minutes, it would cut off like it was dead, like it never was charged. So that was my phone. It was crusty and it would just die at any given moment. I was in high school, I was in 12th grade. So that's that background information. So we just gonna start off. It was nighttime. My boo, boyfriend, whatever at the time. Around my house, there's like what, three three four parks at the time my boo he told me meet him at brownie park in my head i'm thinking okay what the heck is brownie park because i don't know the names of these dagon parks so i was just like all right i'm gonna just go to the the um school near my house because they got a park right near there so i was like all right maybe it's that one <laughs> mind you it's like 11 o'clock at night i'm walking there whatever I told my sister, my little sister, she like a year younger than me, so she's not that little, but I told my little sister, you know, I'm about to go see blank blank, and we just gonna call him D, I, I was like, okay, I'm about to go see D, um, I'm going to Brownie Park, she said, okay, so, I was like, just in case I can't call you, I'm, you know, I'm gonna let you know where I'm at, anyways, I go, and I'm walking there, walking, and it's dark, I'm scared as fuck. I'm a whole, I'm a whole like little girl. Like I'm 18 at the time. Like, no, I think I was 18, maybe 17. Beats the heck out of me. Anyways, so, um, still I was like relatively young, but, um, yeah, so I'm walking there, blah, blah, blah. And this fucking dude in a fucking pickup truck, he just starts honking at me. And I was like, so I was like, no, bruh, not today. Like, not today, saying, why is you trying to come for me, bruh? So then I was just like, I just kept walking, kept walking, kept walking. I just ignored the shit out of that. And I just kept it moving. I was walking fast as shit. I text D and I was like, I'm here at the park. Where you at? Blah, blah, blah. He said, I'm here. And then I was like, where are you at? So I I'm over here like it's pitch black. Like the park is pitch black. No lights, no lamp posts, no none of that shit. So it's pitch black, bruh. And I'm over here like, hey, D, D, where you at? D, <laughs> son. So I'm over there calling this, this boy name. I text him, I was like, I don't see you, blah, blah, blah. And then he was like, where are you at? And then I was like, I'm here. My phone ends up dying. And I was like, bruh, not tonight. Like, I got to walk back home. Like, it was like a five, maybe a good eight minute walk from my house. So I'm walking fast as shit back home. Like, I was like, bruh, what the fuck? He's about to leave. And then he's going to be mad. And I'm mad because motherfuckers trying to fucking honk at me and fucking take my little ass away. So I'm over here, I run in the house, I put my phone in the charger, I call him and I'm like, yo, I think I went to the wrong park, blah, blah, blah. He started getting mad. So I was like, oh, you should have went to this, you should have known it was this park, blah, 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 you got me out here waiting. So I was just like, okay, first of all, care about my safety. I was like, oh, I didn't know which park you were at. So then he told me which park, and it was literally right down, down the street from my house, like seriously. Um, I was like, all right, give me two minutes, blah, blah, blah. So I told my sister. Like, near the park, there's a McDonald's. So, we go to the park first. I meet him at the park. I told my sister, I'm going to this park, but I might be going to McDonald's later, blah, blah, blah. So, then she's like, okay, cool. So, I leave out the house. We end up meeting. We talking, blah, blah, blah. End of story. We end up going to McDonald's. And we just sitting and talking, blah, blah, blah. And then he was like, well, I got to go. Da, 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 da. I'll see you later. And I'm just like, can you walk me home? Like, what the heck? You just want me to be by myself? He's like, sorry, you know, I gotta go give my bro his bike back, blah, blah, blah. So I was like, all right. So I was like, okay, cool. That's fine. I'll just walk. You know, I'll be safe. So I wasn't thinking much of it, but I was just like, you should have walked me home. 
because anything could happen. Okay, we got out of McDonald's. Literally, he parted this way. I went this way. Literally 30 seconds after that, this is what happened. Okay, there's a two-way street, you know. One going this way, one going that way. And the car, I'm going up the hill. The car is going down the hill. And um, I see, and at this time, it's like 1, like 12, 40 or something is pretty late I see the car driving you know back well down the down the um you know street and I'm thinking he's gonna turn like where the McDonald's is no bruh the, and in my head I'm like son please I was like please don't let this dude freaking turn around make a u-turn try and get me bruh please not tonight and then my phone was cut off like it was dead dead the freaking dude makes a whole u-turn to go up the hill and he's like pulling up to the side of the curb and he's like I'm like stop and go stop and go trying to walk like drive at my walking pace and i'm just like oh fuck no i was like i can't even run because like okay in my neighborhood like okay if you run if i try to like part into a different way like turn somewhere it's like I'm going in woods. Like, why would I go in woods so I can't be seen by anybody if I need help? So I was like, that's out. Like, what the heck? So I'm just walking and walking. And he's like, hey, hey, shorty. And I'm like, Ugh. and he's like, hey, yo, you need a ride? You need a ride? I said, nah, I'm good. He said, he's over here like, why are you walking out here alone? You shouldn't be walking out here alone at this time of night. Da, 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 da. And I was like, nah, I'm good. My house all the way on this side. Like, I pointed in the opposite direction of where the heck my house was. But I was like, yeah, my house on this side. I'm like two minutes away from my house. I'm good, but thanks. And then he was like, he like, nah, come on, come on. Get in the car. Get in the car. Get in the car. Like, he starts screaming at me, talking about some get in his fucking car. Think the fuck again. Like, you got me messed up. So... Anyways, he's over here, get in the car, get in the car. And I'm like, son, leave me alone. Like, I started getting mad because you're not about to be screaming at me because if you scream at me, I'm screaming back. He was like, get in the car, get in the car. I'm not playing with you. You better get in this car. And I was like, son, I don't need a ride. Leave me alone. And then he was like, he's like, come on, man, just get in the car, man, get in the car. And he started getting all sweet. I'm like, son, you're really wildin'. And then I was like, I'm good, bruh. I'm good. I'm good. Like, all I can say, I'm good. I'm good. Whole time, I'm acting hard. My heart is like, it's about to explode out of my freaking chest. I am so fucking scared. Like, I'm like, son, this is my last day on this earth. Like, either I was going to fucking be sold into fucking sex slave or fucking be killed that same night. So, either way, it was just like, bruh, it's over. He's over here following me, following me. I'm just trying to walk. Like, I don't know if I want to walk fast or walk slow. Like, I, I didn't really know what to do. I was trying to think of, like, routes I could go where cars couldn't go and stuff like that. But it wasn't really many options. So he's over here yelling at me. And, like, at this time, no freaking police cars. Usually it's fucking police cars everywhere. And I'm just like, bruh, the night I need a police car to be here, they're not there just my luck then I was just like okay well no other cars are even passing by so what the heck am I about to do so then it was like a couple cars like maybe three cars passed by they didn't say nothing they didn't do anything they didn't try to help possibly because they thought like we were just having a conversation or like they didn't think nothing of it or they just didn't give a shit so um anyways it was another car that was speeding up the hill and I was like, oh shit, they about to crash because this nigga's just at a standstill. And then I was like, shit, they about to crash. But then um, the person slowed down and um, I was like, oh fuck no, he brought double team? Like, what the heck is this? So then it was like an old lady and her daughter and her daughter was like grown, like maybe like 29, probably 30. Like she was mature looking so she pulled up and she was like is he trying to talk to you he trying to talk to you sweetheart i said yes like he's really blowing me talking about some getting his car getting his car blah 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 and she was like that dirty motherfucker his 
da -da -da -da. like she's over here spazzing on this dude like you you do you need a ride home son that was the most like I don't even know. I didn't want to trust nobody at that moment. I was just like, are you like in cahoots with this other guy? Like, is this a whole plan? Like, I was kind of hesitant in getting in her car, hesitant in walking home. So it was just like, uh, walk home, get followed, uh, get in the car with this old lady and they're double teaming or uh, she's not a part of them and she's just trying to help me. I'm gonna just get a ride. So she's over here like this, this nigga, he acting like a fucking rapist. How old this nigga look? I said, man, he look like about 35, almost 40. And then she's like, oh, hell nah. This fucking pedophile ass nigga. Da, 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 da. She is kirking. And then I was like, okay. So I get in the car. I'm scared as fuck. So we're driving, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, can we not drive like to my house immediately? Can we like kind of like drive around the block or something? So then um, she was like, okay, I can do that, blah, blah, blah. And then we're literally driving around the block and this nigga is still following us. Like he will not leave. And then we drive around the block two times. Then the third time, this dude tries to pull up by the side of her car and I duck down in the back seat like I lay flat down in that back seat because I was like son I'm not trying to have him see me what if this nigga trying to shoot me like what if he trying to do something so I'm just laying in that back seat and then um he rolled the window down and he like roll the window down roll the window down da -da -da. you can hear him screaming and then she rolls the window down she don't roll it down a lot but she's like you fucking pedophile ass da -da 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 -da. why are you trying to mess with some young girl and then he was like just give me her man just give me her da -da -da -da. i'm not leaving until i get her and i'm just like oh man why me why in my head i'm like bruh if like the police has to get involved like my mom is gonna find out that I snuck out the house to see D and blah blah blah. And I'm gonna get in trouble with it. I don't know. My whole life is just gonna be ruined. So that's how I was thinking. Now I'm just like, bro, what the heck am I gonna do? He was like, I'm not leaving until I get her. He was like, and then she was like, well, you're not gonna get her. So I don't know which, what the hell you doing. And then she, boom, she just drive off. And then we go around the block another time, and he's still like on our ass, like. He's really following us, beeping the horn, da, da 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 And I'm just like, oh my gosh, like, get a life. Like, come on. What are you doing? And then, I wish I would have got his license plate, but at that moment, like, I was not thinking to do that stuff. Like, usually, like, when you see movies and stuff, and you be like, oh, you should do this, you should do that. But you gotta think, when you're in, like, survival mode, and you're just... You're not thinking about getting no license plate. You're not thinking about looking at certain things. Like, you're like, bitch, am I going to die or am I going to live? Like, it's kind of like, it's too much going on in your head to, like, think about certain things. So, we drive around one more time and he finally, like, leaves. But we didn't see when he left. So, I was just like, where did you go? So, I was just like, um, yeah, can we just, like, drive slowly to my house so then we driving slow to my house she was just like i just saw you over there and i was just like if that was my daughter if she was in the same predicament i would want somebody to you know be there for her too like i don't want nobody to just drive past so i was just like let me help her out and she was just like don't you ever 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 leave out the house in no damn one o'clock in the morning and I was like, I'm sorry. I'm never going to do this again. Like, I was so scared, y'all. Then I was like, thank you so much. Like, I was so freaking grateful that this lady freaking showed up. Like, that she was God sent. Like, nobody was stopping y'all. Zero people stopped. No police. Like, it would have been my last day. It, that would have been my last day, man. And I thank her so much. Like, I wish I would have got her name. Like something her phone number like so i don't know i can give her a little thank you gift like you freaking saved my life like i don't know if she remembers or her daughter remembers but if any of them ever come across this video like thank you because i could have almost been dead that same night 
or even worse, like, I mean, what's worse than dying? But I mean, like, you know, could have been kidnapped and who knows what he would have done to me. Shit is really crazy. Like, I was really crying because that was a blessing. Like, that really taught me a lesson. And ever since then, I never leave out the house at a certain time. Like, well, I'm not going to say never. Because the times where I wanted to leave out were like, I brought my little sister with me. And I was so traumatized to the point where I freaking would wear sweatpants. I would wear a sweatshirt. I would throw on like no makeup, put a cap on, a big jacket, and some Tim's on. Because, well, I wanted to look like a guy because I didn't want a guy to stop and be like, Ooh, hey, mommy. Or, hey. You need a ride or come get in the car. Like, I don't need the attention. I didn't want that extra attention on me because I've been through it before. And that's not a good feeling. Like, you feel like it's your last day. Like, you feel like it's time you say your goodbyes to everybody. Like, it's hella traumatizing. If anybody has ever been in this situation, like, let me know your story down below. And let me know if you were, like, traumatized after the fact. I know a lot of people when they were taught when Kim I think got robbed in Paris or something or something happened I think she got robbed I don't really keep up with like celebrity stories and stuff but um yeah like when she got robbed and stuff people were like oh this was just you know a, a publicity stunt blah 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 and all this other stuff but no like when you look at this lady like after the whole robbery how her like style changed she didn't wear like a lot of makeup she wasn't wearing like her super fancy clothes she was wearing freaking baggy sweats and a baggy t-shirt and trying to hide from like the world because it's it's super traumatizing like when you get in like small situations like that like well they're not small big situations like that you are shook like you're shook you don't know what to do you feel like damn people are out to get me like it's really scary y'all well i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope you guys took something from this video number one not to ever leave the house without someone with you use the buddy system i don't care how old you are anything can go down in a matter of seconds so have somebody by your side let people know where you are no matter what like i let my sister know where i was before I left the house because I knew my phone and I knew how dumb it was. So I know sometimes like if your parents be like, where are you going? Da, 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 da. I know sometimes we like to lie. Well, I don't know. I'm not about to say y'all do, but I used to like just be like, oh yeah, I'm going here. But really I was going somewhere else. So don't do that. Be honest. Let somebody know where you're at, whether it's your older sister or somebody. Um, let somebody know where you are. So in case something happens, they don't see you, you turn up missing, they can call the police and be like, yeah, she said she was going here. And then they have a lead. Be aware of your surroundings. I was aware of my surroundings when I first saw that car going down the hill. Like I didn't even have to wait for him to turn around. I knew that I had a feeling like that he was in the turnaround. So basically follow your in instincts and be aware of your surroundings. Um, I don't really want to incorporate this last thing in here, but be mindful how you dress. Like, I wasn't even dressed pro provocatively. I was dressed in some black leggings, a sweater, and some tennis shoes. Like, but I don't know. Like, just kind of be mindful what you're wearing. But at the same time, it's like you should be able to wear what you what you want. But I mean, I don't, I didn't really want to incorporate that last one, but like at the same time, you do got to like be mindful, like how you put yourself out there because people nowadays, they're sick and they will get tempted just by looking at something like say your legs out, not saying you got to cover up or nothing. Like just don't have your whole titties out, like your whole butt cheeks flying out your skirt. Like, I mean, come on, like I can't tell you I was aware, but I mean, you know, I don't know. Comment down below if you would like to see more story time videos like this. Remember, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I love you guys, and stay tuned for more videos. Mwah.
That was so dumb. I freaking blew a kiss in Z A. All right, I'm out. <laughs> Shops of the